So wool and cotton fibres are woven together to make fabric we use for clothes. But what if we could grow large sheets of ready-made fabric? These next scientists might be onto something. Farmers grow fruit, florists grow flowers, and fashion designers... Well, we grow clothes. Hi, I'm Alice Payne, fashion designer and teacher at QUT. And I'm Peter Musk, I'm a scientist here at The Edge, and we're going to add some biotechnology to fashion with this, Kombucha Scoby. This is Scoby, a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, a natural byproduct of fermented tea. We're going to turn it into a useful textile. This scoby is produced by the kombucha or fermented tea as a protective barrier from undesirable bacteria during the fermentation process. It also seals off the liquid from the oxygen in the air, which the scoby bacteria prefer. Fermentation is used to produce other products too, such as ginger beer, vinegar or bread. So, how do we go from tea to t-shirt? Well, we start by adding a live bacteria culture to a sweetened green tea solution. The bacteria feed on the sugars present in the solution to produce the film or scoby that sits on top of the liquid. We can add more sugar to the solution or leave it grow longer to affect the thickness of the material, giving us the ability to make anything from a leather textile to something as fragile and delicate as paper. At this stage, the pH is around 7, which is neutral. After that's all done, it's time to let the bacteria do their thing. After a few weeks, we return to this. It may look gross now, but this gelatinous blob will eventually become the textiles used to make these bags, clothes and even shoes. After we harvest the scoby, we need to give it a good wash to get rid of any excess sugar that might make the material sticky. At this stage, the material weighs up to about 10 times its final weight. That's because cellulose absorbs a lot of water. And the next step is to dry it out. They hang around like this for four to seven days until they dry it completely. And then we end up with something like this. The final textile is made from cellulose, which is an organic compound, but is also found in paper and cotton. This allows us to create a host of fascinating products, but the applications for this biomaterial don't just end at the runway. It could be used in the medical field for things like treatment of burns, or even used to grow replacement blood vessels. So there you have it, a garment that's environmentally friendly, 100% biodegradable, sustainable, and anyone can grow it from virtually nothing. It's amazing what can happen when fashion and science team up.